Okay, so I got another request and a rather bizarre one uh, from Dave Malloy, amazing guitar player, producer, a uh, guy called Niall Reynolds and also David Carroll. They asked for a Genesis song because I'd put up Blood on the Rooftops. So they asked for Abacab. Now, I know Blood on the Rooftops. I love that tune. I've never heard this song. So I thought, well, I'll give it a quick listen. Now, when I listened to it first, it's it, like the playing is complex, but they actually, this the split, the main stage plan for it which is what these videos are really about sounded pretty simple it just seemed to have a, a an organ patch you know so kind of and then you needed a, a synth for the intro in forts and also I heard a synth bass so initially I thought well you know this can be very quick so I've just had a quick look at it and thought Right, that's it. It's a simple split. Bass, organ, and synth for the intro, anyway. Uh, but then when I went looking at some hardcore Genesis fans, how they normally play it is they'll start with the bass synth and then bring in the... But then you have to go one, two, three, switch. So you've lost your synth bass. So then I became fascinated. Well, I watched loads of these guys doing uh, this song, and that's what they all do. They start with that, and then drop off. One, two, three, four. And then they're into the. Then they'll go back to the synth. So then I became fascinated to main stage. Can you actually keep the synth bass going? Because nobody I've seen has done this. So what I've done is used my old friend of chord triggers. And I've put the synth bass up here. Because the bass moves, the synth moves. And of course you're playing a complex line. So again you'd need four hands to do this correctly. So how do you do it with two? So if I switch off the 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 organ pad by using a, a key note here trigger it means I can just do the bass and then bring in the chord on the and and then count one two three four and then take it up So it's rather pleased. So there is a way of doing it on main stage. And then when you go to the solo, the solo switches to uh, fifths. So the intro's in fourths, the solo's in fifths for the synth. So I'll show you up close as a breakdown for anyone who wants to try this. I'll show you the intro up close. Um, I'm going to have the bass here. This will trigger the chord, the C sharp. It comes in on the four and. So one, two, three, four, one. To the song okay so that's the intro so uh, I'll show you the main chords of the verses using the the uh, using the the organ and your bass pads here
So there you go. That's a close up at speed. Okay, so so that's up close. So let's let's take a look at um, the solo. So the solo is, uh, as I said, it's up. It's it changes. It goes uh, it goes forth. So again, I have a patch switch up here, so I can switch between. I have two patches: one for verses and everything, and just one for the solo. Uh, so let's look at the solo. Okay, so let's do it at speed. Two, three, four, one. back into the verses then and then you're back right into the verses okay so that's all the spits and all the parts up close um and you've seen how i split the board so i'll try it with the track just a, a little piece of it anyway to see can we put it all together now as i said this was really this video is really about solving that issue of how do you keep the synth bass going and how do you keep all those bits going um because it is quite a simple split it's organ it's synth and you can change the the pitch whether it's fifths or fourths pretty handy but it was to try and use chord triggers and arps to try and make the bass happen so let's try a bit with the song So there you go, you're back into it then. And that's essentially it. Um, this was really about creating that main stage patch. So initially, I thought it was simple enough between just organ and synth, but then if you want the synth bass, and then you have to get your fourths on the intro, your fifths on the solo. Um, so hopefully, David, uh, Dave Malloy and David Carroll and Niall enjoy that. For anybody else, if you're a Genesis fan, I hope you got something from it. Um, I tell you this, you'll never be able to play this at a wedding. It's... It's crazy. So there you go. Abacab, Genesis, and uh, a main stage patch. One for the verses and choruses, and one for the solo. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Good luck.